Hello guys, my name is Oleg Gaivoy. I am an ATPL integrated student at Baltic Aviation Academy. Today we have changed our surroundings a little bit and we'll be demonstrating to you the basics of ILS approach in our flight and navigation procedure trainer FNTP2. Before we start, let me show you around our FNTP. It consists of the cockpit, which could simulate both Cessna 172 or Technum P2006 with Garmin G1000 equipment. You just need to change the central column. Computer hardware and software with instructor panel where you can set different airports, different um, meteorological conditions and uh, set some exercise required for training. And the last part is uh, three projectors and three wide screens where you can see the visual part of the simulation. Today we will be performing ILS approach in Kaunas International Airport. First of all, we need to review the approach chart. Today we will be using a Jepson approach chart for Kaunas International Runway 08. It is always advisable to check for the newest and latest chart, so the flight will be safe and performed correctly. As we can see, ILS approach in Kaunas International could be done in many ways. One way is to fly overhead VOR DME Beacon uh, Kilo November Alpha at 3000 feet then descend 2200 feet while following a radial 287 till distance 8.9 miles from Kilo November Alpha. After this, uh, turn left to intercept a glide pass. And then just following the ILS signals till minimums. It is really important to say that every time approach is performed, pilot should be familiar with the missed approach procedure and be ready to initiate go round at any moment. Before every approach, uh, you should brief yourself next way. I'll do an approach uh, according to published procedures. If something goes wrong, I will do a go around immediately. If I will be lucky enough to get a visual contact with the runway lights or runway at or above minimums, I will land. If you will brief yourself like this, you will be safe. We are now in the air in B8 Cessna near Kaunas International Airport and I will request ILS approach for us. Lima Yankee Bravo Alpha Kilo request ILS approach runway 08. Lima Yankee Bravo Alpha Kilo continue to Kilo November Alpha, maintain 3000 feet. When passing Kilo November Alpha, you're clear to ILS approach runway 08. Report when established. Continuing to kill number alpha 3000 feet, uh, passing kill number alpha cleared ILS approach 08, will report established Lima Yankee Bravo Alpha Kilo. We got uh, our clearance and instructions so I can turn towards kill number alpha. Now we are approaching kill number alpha and I will turn left to intercept radial 287 as it was stated in chart. And now because we have a clearance for ILS I can descend 2200 feet. We have some time while flying on radial. Let's review uh, approach chart. Uh, we have approach chart for Kaunas International Airport ILS runway 08. Radio frequencies set. Uh, localizer frequency set and checked. Final approach course will be uh, 079er. 
Uh, glide slope uh, will be checked at four miles from kilo November alpha. Our altitude must be one five six zero feet. Airport elevation two three six. Missed approach procedure. Climb on track 079, which is runway heading, to 3,000 feet. Radar vectors will be provided for us. A missed approach with communication failure. Climb on track 079 to 2,200 feet at distance 9 miles from kill number alpha. Then right to VOR, climbing 3,000 feet. Uh, let's look at the minimums. We are category A airplane. ILS is fully operational. So our minimums will be 440 feet. Unfortunately, on uh, FNPT uh, Garmin, I can't set exactly 440. So I will set uh, altitude back to 500 feet. Now we are almost uh, at 8.9 miles from Kill November Alpha. Because we are on Cessna, not on Boeing, so uh, I cannot do this uh, shallow turn uh, to final. Firstly, I will turn left uh, perpendicular to the localizer course and keep this heading uh, for a while until control radial 267 from kill number alpha. Then I will turn 45 degrees more to the left and wait for a localizer to arrive on HSI. And only after that I will intercept the final course. Here comes the control radial, turn left, here comes the localizer. Now we are on the localizer. Uh, approach procedures, fuel pump on, flap uh, speed check, flaps 10, and landing light on. Lima Yankee Bravo Alpha Kilo, localizer established, uh, 08, request full stop landing. Lima Yankee Bravo Alpha Kilo, 7 miles from touchdown, wind 120 degrees, 10 knots clear to land, runway 08. Clear to land, runway 08, Lima Yankee, Bravo Alpha Kilo. Here comes the glide slope. Starting descent. Now we are fully established and I can set Minimums to 500. Waiting for fourth mile to check the glide slope. Now we are at fourth miles and our altitude is 1560 feet, which means that uh, we are on correct light slope, we can continue.
100 above minimums. Let's look for runway lights. Minimums, runway inside, landing. Now I can continue visually using instruments just as reference, reducing our speed. Vakitik next to the left, uh, Lima Yankee Bravo for Kilo, stand number five. These were the basics of ILS approach. We are planning to make a series of video about different kind of instrument approaches. We hope it will be interesting and useful for many of you. Goodbye for now and see you next videos.